Yo, what's up guys, it's Lucy back again with another video, and in this video I'm going to be explaining how to get better at Modern Warfare. Because usually, if you check up on YouTube, or other YouTubers and stuff, when you check up on how to get better at Modern Warfare, most of the time they just show a class setup, like the class up's the only thing that makes it better at Modern Warfare, which... It, it's a part, it's a piece, but it's not even close on how to get better at Modern Warfare. A class up can help you, but it's not going to make you better. This is how you truly make yourself better. There's a couple steps. There's either, there's one, the class setup. That is true. Two, the positioning. Three, your accuracy, of course, because that's a small part as well. Four, the weapon you're using, its strength and weaknesses. And five, to read the map and assume where your enemies are gonna be, like the, the main spot. Like if you go on a map and every time you go on that map, there's always someone in that same spot no matter how many games you play that's called the stronghold spot that you have to look out for so these are like literally top steps on how to get better at modern warfare it's not just class up there's multiple things that you're missing out on and i'm gonna go to custom games to show like for an example then i'm gonna go to online game and see if i can run into any of these things that i just described so uh yeah let's go into custom this is a small map so this map would be mostly dominant with submachine guns. You'd be at a disadvantage using an AR on this map. Definitely an AR with low fire rate. Alright. So I spawned on this side. Alright, so you they're going to spawn on this side. And the first thing they're going to do is either go left or they're going to go right. Now if it's domination, they're most likely going right. And the first step someone usually is going to do when they come over here is either going to slant that window or come through the door, climb up top, or try to poke mount against this head glitch or slide around the corner pre-aim. So what you have to do to avoid getting straight schmitted on, you don't want to go into an active location at tactical sprint. If you do that, I promise you, your chances of dying are almost 100%. The reason being because you are going to get your soul pre-aimed. When I mean pre-aimed, I mean pre-aimed, my guy. They're just going to literally be mounted against something aiming this corner. So if you hit any active, any corner where there's mostly a lot of enemies go every time you play on this map, it's best to go from uh, like this. Say you're a tactical sprint and to avoid stop the tactical sprint before you hit the corner and pre-aim it, which is kind of slow. Or you can slide around the corner. You don't ever want a tactical sprint around a corner. You don't want to be like this. I mean, hold on. You don't want to be like this and aim in. Because it literally takes like 2-3 seconds to pull your weapon down to aim in. And in that time, you've already taken about 5 bullets. The time you fire off one round, he's already hit you with 5 rounds. And you're going to die. So it's best to, when you hit a corner, is to stop a tactical sprint and go for aim jump. Or you can stop a tactical sprint and go to a normal sprint. You have an advantage. Or you can do a double jump. Wait, it's too narrow in here. Hold on. You can do a double jump. Kind of glitch someone's camera out. You can do a slide jump. So there's multiple ways to go around a corner. The best way definitely is to do like a double jump. Or to do a slide. Or to do a cancel slide. Which is where you just double tap the slide button. Or you can do a, a jump, squat, or you can do a slide jump. Which, when you do a slide jump, you want to jump before aiming in. Because if you jump while aiming in, this is what's going to happen. You get a further jump if you do a slide and then aim in after jumping. Which is the same thing as a double jump. You got to jump, you jump, and then you aim in and then jump again. Since the game just started, I wouldn't recommend going bottom first. I would recommend going top. And pre-aiming this for a little bit to see if someone climbs a ladder probably against this side sit here for a few seconds to see if anyone's gonna climb the ladder you also want to pay attention to your left side because they will go for a flank up the stairs which is why you can place like a bouncing Betty right here or a claymore or something but you don't want to place it literally at the door you probably want to place it about this far off so when you hear the door bust you know to instantly go from here to here and you want to shift over you don't want to do aim here and then turn over here you are going to die i promise you if you just aim here and just turn and aim over here 
you're gonna get shot from your side. So when someone's over here and you hear the door go off, it's best to shift forward and slide back to the side or a squat shoot, which helps a lot. Or if they're coming, they definitely are gonna pre-aim. You don't wanna be like this when they're gonna hit the corner because you will die. Because no one's gonna do this. No, they're gonna mostly slide out, which usually is out here. Or they're gonna jump out, which is usually in the middle. Or even if they run the corner, it's gonna be in middle. So it's best when you pre-aim a corner not to be against it. It's best to be towards the middle area. You don't wanna be all the way over here, all the way over here. You wanna be more like the middle area or a little bit closer to the side that he's gonna hit the corner on. So it's best to position yourself where your gun is on your right side so you have advantage against your opponents. Like this, my gun's right side. So if he sees, I'll be able to see him before he can see me. To where you wanna have right side positioning so you have the advantage to kill your opponent before they have time to react. You also don't want a tactical sprint around a corner cause you will die. Now say if someone's up here, it's best to, instead of tactical sprint and do this, you will die because you're gonna take maybe two or three bullets before you even aim in all the way. The only way you're gonna kill this kid off the head glitch is if he misses the rest of his bullets because he has a lack of accuracy. But this target assist in this game is pretty strong, so I would assume he's going to kill you. So it's best to do like a pop out and pop back in if someone's there. So you'll take maybe one or two bullets, but you won't die. And now you know either one or two things you can do. Come up top. And come from up here because you will least expect it because he's still going to be pre-aiming over here waiting for you. You could also bait a partner, wait for him to hit that corner and then pop and shoot him off the head glitch. So you can bait him with a partner or wait a few seconds before hitting it so he doesn't look up top. Like there's... It's a bunch of positionings and depending on what your weapon is. Alright, so say if he was in this head glitch using an M4 and you're right there by that van and using a submachine gun, your chances of winning the fight are damn near zero. I'm going to be honest with you. It's damn near zero. Because he has the advantage of an AR because ARs hit extremely hard long range. Submachine guns, not too much. It takes a lot more bullets to kill someone range with the submachine gun than it does with an AR. Which is why you want to take advantage of your weapon type. So if you're using a submachine gun, it's best not to go on the long sides to where you have an extreme disadvantage and being killed quickly because your weapon doesn't have damage range. So it's best you want to go in a more cluttered area to where you can't be spotted from half a kilometer away. But I'm using this map as um, a demonstration. So it's all about positioning the type of weapon you're using and how you built the weapon as the attachments like say if you went all into ADS speed and you have like no range on the weapon you should not be fighting range battles period point blank no range battles you want to use your ADS speed to your advantage so you want to go in more cluttered areas so you have a faster aim in speed since you have a faster aim in speed you have a better chance of killing your opponent than he does of you so it's all about attachments positioning and accuracy but accuracy is not going to make it to where you win the fight unless you have good positioning as well because if you have an opponent that has accuracy and you have accuracy but he's in a better position, he's going to kill you. Definitely if he has a better weapon, say if he's ranged and he's using an AR and you're using a submachine gun, you're going to die. Because he has literally, he has range on you, good positioning, he has good accuracy, the weapon, which is the class setup, and uh, what was the other one? Can't think right now, just went brain dead. So it's positioning, accuracy, class setup, the weapon type, and da-da-da-da-da. So it's just all about the weapon type you're using, if you understand what I'm saying. You don't want to do long-range fights with a submachine gun, and you don't want to do close-range fights with an AR, unless you know for a fact you're going to win, because either one... The enemy is already weak. Two, he's not paying attention to where you're coming from. Or three, he has a slow reaction speed, so you have a higher chance of killing him. Which is why all my class ups for every single weapon are hybrids. I build my class up for range and mobility. Like this MP7. This is for mobility, which is why I'm running uh, no stock. And I think I have stipple grip on here. Let's check. No, I don't. I took off stipple grip. So... Movement speed, which can help out with for close range fights, which means I'm using my weapon to an advantage. 50 round mags, more bullets, you can go 60 if you want. The Merc Grip is to help out accuracy, which is one of the steps. 
this barrels to help out long range, which can help me with fights further range, but I wouldn't challenge an AR long range. And the suppressors to make sure I don't show up on minimap. Now that I'm done with, uh, so now I'm going to show you, uh, on a real online map. Enemy at the dumpster. Command is ours. Maintain pressure. I saw him, and he saw me. But he had a disadvantage because he was using a submachine gun. Now this, this spot you definitely want to pre-aim because these are stronghold locations that everyone's going to be pre-aiming around. I got to cut. That spot's too dangerous. So it's best to flank. I think they spawn flip. That dude had a shotgun, so I wasn't going to push him at close range. That would have been literally death. The Vito is focusing me like it always does, so I, I can't really move. This dude's running around with a knife. Kill confirmed. Now I'm definitely know I'm in a dangerous situation. And the spawns in this game aren't that good. Enemy cruise missile. So it's so hard to tell whether what side uh, an enemy has or not. Allied cruise missile launch. Well, that means they have this side. I'ma bait my partner. Like I told you guys, when you're close to streaks, it's best to bait a partner. Nope. I knew someone's gonna hit that corner because my partner died. Advanced UAV. See what I mean? All about baiting partners. No, he didn't. That's the one thing I always hated. Is how a counter UAV has the ability to counter advanced UAV. When it literally takes 12 kills to get an advanced UAV. In my opinion, that is not fair. When advanced UAV takes so long to get to. Pre-aiming corners, like I told you guys. Nope, I gotta fall back. They're probably gonna group push it, yep. He grabbed that. There's someone in there. But since it's a counter UAV, I wasn't gonna battle him. My partner that was in there is dead. So I don't know how, if he's still in there. So I'm trying to wait for a partner to run in there so I can bait him. Kill See what I mean by baiting? He saw me. So I'm not gonna fight him. The Vito is focusing me like it always does, so I, I can't really move. See what I mean? I screwed up my own say. I tactical pushed around the corner because I thought he was the only one in there. And that kid pre-aimed me, so I died off my nuke. See what I mean? This can happen to anyone. Never tactical sprint around a corner. You will die. His accuracy was a little off. If I wasn't weak, I wouldn't have died. So that's the truth. If I wasn't weak, I wouldn't have died because that kid's accuracy wasn't that good. Because most of the time when you jump a corner, you're aiming at trying to go for a headshot so you can take the least amount of damage. Nope. See what I mean? I know I can't win that fight, so I wasn't going to push it. I know I wasn't going to win that fight because there was like four people pre-aiming that corner. He's up top. He's probably going to sound horde me. Nope. Try to go for a flank. People also got to take in mind, when you're playing an objective game mode, you have to play objective. It's not team deathmatch. Partners can't seem to understand that this is a, a team game. No matter how good one player is, he can't carry when it's an objective game mode. Now, if it's TDM, yeah. 
he has a chance. Well, not in this game, really. If it was BO4 or something, yeah. But he has a chance. But when it's objective game mode, you need your team. You can't win without him. You can get streaks without him by baiting them and stuff like that. But you can't win the game. Because you're not going to be able to capture A, B, C, or if you're playing Kill Confirmed, which actually I have carried in Kill Confirmed before. But I'm talking about like hard point and stuff like that. You need teammates. Because you can have your teammates inside the hard point or, the, or trying to get the flag while you're going for streaks so you guys can win. But you just gotta know what to push and what not to push and what to run away from. When you know there's gonna be multiple opponents pushing around the corner, it's best not to sit there and wait and kill one of them and then die. I hear his foot. Well, the game's over. I have 40 kills. But you see, I was using my advantages. I was mostly popping from right side because weapon right side, you have advantage. I pre-aimed corners that I know people are going to be around by looking at the radar instead of tactical sprinting because it takes longer, which I use that as an advantage. So I used my class setup as an advantage, knowing my AR slower than submachine guns. So I pre-aimed um, constantly crowded areas, the spots that are always packing with enemies at. Which was that middle building where I was at, where I was almost obtained my tactical nuke. The outside head glitch where that little tube is. And the other outside head glitch where the car is by C. I think C is over there. So it's all about the weapon you're using. The positioning. The class setup on that weapon. If you built it for aiming in slow or you built it in for aiming fast. Me personally, build every class setup for a hybrid. For mobility and speed, but damage range as well. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do videos like this all the time where how to get better at Modern Warfare, best class ups and things like that. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you later, guys. Peace.